Hi everyone and hope you're all well. Today's cake that I'm painting is a cream slice. I've decided it's a cream slice rather than a custard slice. I had a look on the reference photo as well and I think it is a cream slice. I haven't painted much food in the past so I wasn't sure how these were going to turn out when I first started them but they are going a lot better than I expected. The lines on top of the on top of this slice um, I think the chocolate icing. I painted the very light wash of those originally, which is what you can see now. And then I went over them darker and then I realised they had to be even darker. So later on in the video, I do go over those. I spent a lot of time with the cream on this, on this slice, just putting in little details on the side of it, just to get that texture on the side of the cream. It, it was quite difficult, but I enjoyed doing it. Halfway through this video, I... Um, I stopped to show you a screenshot on my phone and I was in the middle of painting this slice and I got a notification on my phone to say that somebody had left a review of something that had been bought through my Yeti shop. I stopped painting, had a look and it turned out that it was one of the Inktober zines that I'd sold and the person who'd wrote the review and who'd bought the zine was um, a guy called Christopher who has a channel on YouTube called A Art Adventure and he bought this scene, he'd watched my Inktober videos through October and he'd bought my Inktober zine when I put it in my shop and he'd, he'd left this lovely review. I was just so overwhelmed by the kindness of his review that I had to just show the camera it whilst I was painting and he does some really good art videos so if you've never heard of his channel I'll link it below so you can go and have a look. And whatever he's painting or drawing at the time, he always talks about the subject that he's painting. It's just really interesting to listen to. And he does some really good art as well whilst he's talking about the subject. He also does a lot of art unboxing videos which are really good to watch. So I definitely recommend going over and having a look at his channel and watching his videos. So I really wanted to just share with you all the review that I got. I always get really nice reviews in my Etsy shop but I get nervous when I get a notification on my phone and it says somebody's left a review. I get worried that someone's going to leave a bad review. So this was a, a really nice surprise and I love every review that I get from my customers. Everyone's so lovely and one of the things that I just really didn't expect when I started doing YouTube videos was the art community is so nice and friendly and everyone's so supportive and over on Instagram as well everyone's really nice. It's just such a nice community to be involved in and I really didn't expect that when I started out putting my art online and um, on social media I didn't expect it to be like that I thought I'd be on my own just getting on with it and sharing my work with everyone and I didn't expect to have so much support from other artists so that's been really lovely so my next video that I'll be adding on here will be um, it's the last one of the series I've got the chocolate eclair left to do and once they're finished then um, I'll be putting them up for sale in my Etsy shop so I'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next video with the chocolate eclair. And if you've enjoyed watching these videos, then please give me a thumbs up. It'd be great if you could subscribe as well. Um, if, you've, if you do enjoy watching these videos and you haven't subscribed already, that'd be brilliant. And thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.